it has been 96 years as of today's date 2023, which is more than a milestone. The Cardin Home first opened its doors on May 6, 1927. The institution's goal is to provide quality care and optimal safety, striving to resort to and or maintain the highest level of physical and mental well-being for its residents. Highlights of the past that should continue. The importance of the Cardin Home in its earlier days was optimum glory, with several activities that were once planned throughout the month of May. It used to be so much fun, but those are long gone. Some of these activities include a movie night at the Cardin Home, an open day and fun day on the Cardin Home grounds, a staff social evening at Spratnet, a beach nick, and a church service and rededication of a church at the Cardin Home. Today the home is a shell from its glory days, lack of activities, lack of maintenance. The building has been leaking since I started taking notes in 2013 up to this day 2023. The Minister of State within the Ministry of Health, Community Development, Gender Affairs, and Social Services, need to revisit the institution because presently most of the residents who are complaining, that the stench coming from the broken drainage by the kitchen, is considered toxic vapor fume. For the past 10 years that I've been taking notes from a few residents at the Cardin home, about mismanagement of the facility and the lack of maintenance. I made several attempts around 2009 finally after speaking to an official from the Denzel-led government, all I got was promises, up to this day, nothing has been done. I am a 100% labor supporter, and I'm not going anyway, anytime soon. Because of the narcissistic dictatorial behavior of the Timothy-led regime, none of the unity regime gave me the time of day. The question I have for the newly reformed labor government led by Dr. Drew. Will you be the one to repair the roof that has been leaking for over 16 years, and fix the broken toxic smelling drain next to the kitchen, that smells worse than a hog pen? This last question is to those who are in charge of staff. Do you get paid to turn a blind eye to the many issues at Cardin Home or are you not qualified for the position you hold? I will be calling the names of those in charge next time I have to complain on social media.